Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for Skill of Attraction. And today's Attraction Tips video is called Improve Your Flirting Skills. Now probably one of the most important skills to have when it comes to attracting women and having good game is your flirting skills. Now this isn't something I cover much because as a natural flirt, it's difficult for me to analytically break it down to how you actually do it. I mean, have you ever known a man who is a natural with women and asked him what he does to be so attractive to them? Well, if you haven't known a guy like that, I could tell you with certainty that he can't do it because it's not something that he actually thinks about. He just does it and it works for him. Now, the naturals aren't actually naturals, meaning that they're not born with that ability. They simply learned at an early age what works and what doesn't, but they're never, they never have wrote it down or consciously thought about the steps that they take to make the ladies swoon. Now, I actually grew up with a guy who was a natural with women, and I was always just so amazed at how he talks to women and how they just can't seem to get enough of him. And when I would ask him what to do, so I would have that success too, he would just tell me, well, just, just go and talk to them and try to get late. Now, as you can imagine, that was not at all helpful. Since I've learned what women find attractive and unattractive, my friend, he embodies it all. I mean, he's an alpha among both men and women. He just kills it at life in just about every aspect. He's now a millionaire and owns a very successful construction company. He drives a Bentley. He owns a couple of racehorses, has a massive house in both the Chicago suburbs and in Miami. He has a small group of loyal male followers and he's off in the life of the party. I mean, he has balls the size of Texas, and perhaps most importantly, he's always surrounded by beautiful women who he's very dominant with. Now, if you saw the guy, you would ask yourself, why? I mean, in other words, he's just an average looking dude and not at all flashy. Well, minus the Bentley, of course. Now, this is one of the reasons I keep telling you guys that when it comes to women, your physical looks play a more secondary role if you have good game and succeed at life. Now, I am not a natural with women. I had to learn just like you guys do. However, I am a natural when it comes to flirting. In fact, just about all men have at least some game. They, they all have at least one thing that they're naturally good at that they could use to be more attractive to the opposite sex. And in most cases, you guys just haven't learned to embrace it properly and use it to your advantage. But I promise you do have it. Now, you may remember me saying that when a woman falls for you, what she's really falling for is your energy or your vibe. It's the way that you make her feel. Now, of course, there are situations where a woman falls for a guy strictly because he's very good looking and nothing more. But those relationships, they never last because she's not attracted to his energy. It's just pure, shallow lust. I mean, something we've all been guilty of at one time or another. So if you work on your, if you work on building your, your flirting and your bantering skills, you can really make a huge difference in your overall vibe. Women want to be around fun guys who know how to make her feel. Now, of course, women want to feel a wide spectrum of emotions, but of course they want to experience mostly feel good emotions. And what better way to make her feel good, sexy and feminine than to flirt and banter with her. In fact, this is often what I mean when I tell you guys to just focus on having fun, being upbeat and playful. I mean, it's more than just flirting, but flirting is a big part of it. And flirting is something that you want to do with, with women, all women, or your girl all the time. A lot of men drop this, drop their flirting and whatnot after they've gotten the girl. And then they fall into a boring humdrum routine and then they get confused why their girl is losing feelings. As the old song goes, girls just wanna have fun. And lightly sexualizing that fun is a recipe for your interaction to be ending in the bedroom, which is what we all really want anyway, right? 
So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to be discussing several ways to improve your flirting skills. As I mentioned, you want to flirt with her or any women most of the time. This will leave her or any woman you've interacted with feeling good, feeling desired, feeling feminine, often still thinking of you hours or even days later, if you do it right. But if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at soa.fm, click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. My options include several phone coaching, phone coaching packages for my North American clients and several Zoom coaching packages for my clients outside North America. And I'll post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. And also, be sure to check out my new merch, which can be found directly below this video or by tapping on the store tab on my channel. Okay, so one of the most important parts of doing some good flirting is your eye contact and strong eye contact at that. Now, this doesn't mean that you're just staring deep into her soul without blinking like, I mean, this will just scare the crap out of her or anyone, really. <laughs> it just means that you look her in the eye when you're talking and flirting with her, that you don't break eye contact out of intimidation or feeling uncomfortable. Women will often mirror your strong eye contact, trying to get you to break eye contact first as a test. And she's testing to see if she can intimidate you with her beauty and strong eye contact. It's actually a sign of dominance. Now, never break or your eye contact before she does because it will communicate confidence and dominance by keeping that eye contact. It's also a good idea that you build a little tension and anticipation by occasionally making dramatic pauses as you speak and tell stories. But be conscious at the pace of your speaking because you're speaking, if you're speaking too fast, it often will come across like you're just nervous. Now, the exception to speaking too much is if it's just who you are. I mean, if you have ever done coaching with me, then you know there will be periods where I just don't shut up. But that's just who I am. I've been like that all my life. And actually, when it's natural, women often find it kind of endearing. Next up, playful teasing. I talk about this a lot. Now, girls absolutely love this. It's fun, it's challenging, and you give off a great witty vibe. I think it brings us all back to our early years of you know, proverbially pulling her hair in the schoolyard. Plus, playful teasing tells women that you're not afraid of her reaction, which communicates confidence. However, you do want to be careful that you're not being mean in your teasing. When you're mean, you're just being an a-hole, and not the attractive kind women are often drawn to. But when it's playful and you're not personally attacking her, she will just eat it up. It's like catnip. Another great tip to add to your flirting arsenal is to playfully disqualify her. Where most men are trying their hardest to get on her good side or trying to like force or find a connection, disqualifying her challenges her in a fun way. And if she likes you, you'll notice that it forces her to qualify herself to you. So as an example of disqualifying her can be something like, you know, you and I would make a terrible couple. Or maybe you're never gonna get into my pants with that attitude, young lady. And like I said, if she likes you, she may try to qualify herself by saying something like, no, I think we would make a great couple. To which you can reply, oh yeah, prove it and suddenly you're entering into Makeout City. Girls like this because it's fun and it's challenging. Women love a man who's a bit of a challenge. The men who easily give themselves to her, she has little to no interest in. And I'm sure you've noticed this, but you're probably afraid to ruin it by playfully you know, pushing her away or disqualifying her. Don't be afraid. Oh, be sure to check out my new men's community. Consider it the new skill of attraction. Here you guys could ask questions, share your notes and war stories about women and dating, give and get advice from other members. Technically, it's still in its testing phases, but it's live. 
So head on over to soa.fm, sign up for an account, registration is free, and I made sure that you guys can remain relatively anonymous. And be sure to give me your feedback too, so I can make it better. And it's a nice, short, and easy to remember website address, soa.fm. So I hope to see you guys there. Now, touching is also a part of flirting, but be sure it's a non-sexual touching. In other words, don't approach a girl, start flirting, followed by you rubbing her ass or something. I mean, that will not go over well at all. But after a little bantering and grabbing her hand or placing your hand on her knee or maybe the small of her back for like a second or two, can really take the attraction she's beginning to feel to the next level. Again, this tells her that you're not afraid of her reaction, that you're not afraid to touch her and gently push her boundaries. Plus, it lightly communicates that you feel desire for her, which, if she likes you, she's been waiting to find that out. Now, it's a bit of a turn-on for women to be desired. It makes them feel sexy and feminine. And touching is typically the step before going in for a kiss. But this doesn't have to be with a girl you just met. It could also be a woman you've been with for many years. Now, next up, cocky funny. Now, if you spent any time in the pickup or seduction community, or if you've read any of David D'Angelo's work, you've heard this term before. It's pretty much exactly what it says, mixing cocky and funny. Now, just being cocky alone is being arrogant. And most women do not like arrogant men. Some do, but most do not. However, putting a humorous spin on it makes it very attractive to women. As an example, you could say that you can't get involved with her because she's just going to use you for your body like every other woman has in the past. And then just follow that with a cocky grin or even a wink, and at the least, you'll get a laugh and maybe a playful slap on the arm. At best, she'll be biting her bottom lip before she attacks you. Either way, not too shabby, right? And just like the playful teasing or disqualifying her, you're creating that push-pull dynamic that just drives women crazy. In a good way, of course. Now, it's also fun and a good idea to reverse the roles and accuse her of being the one trying to be with you or trying to get you into bed. Again, this is fun and challenging, pushing and pulling and creating sexual tension. Plus, women do not like to be the one who is obviously pursuing you, so it's kind of fun to switch the roles around. Now, I remember I was dating this girl, and she was 100% the chaser, and it was obvious from pretty much anyone's point of view, but she just could not admit to it, especially in front of other people. So I would constantly tease her about chasing me, but you know, once in a great while when we were alone, she would give in and admit to it. It was kind of cute. And it just kind of goes hand in hand with the cocky funny and the playful teasing. And finally, make her laugh. But remember that you're not her clown or her entertainment for the evening. A lot of men confuse being funny and making women laugh with being her circus monkey. When I was younger, I would do this all the time. I, and I always felt this immense pressure to perform anytime I, anytime I spent time with a woman. They don't respect it, but they do love and respect a man who knows how to make her laugh, giggle, and blush. It's all part of the fun package of your interactions. Now, as an example, as I'm preparing to move out of the country, don't worry, I'll still be doing this. I watched this couple on YouTube who do a travel vlog. Now the guy is very playful and flirty with her and she just giggles and smiles and looks at him with nothing but love and desire in her eyes. It's actually kind of cute the way she looks at him. He's, he, but he's not her entertainer. He's just who he is and it clearly has an immense effect on how she feels about him. So if you remember what I suggest here in terms of flirting and bantering, get some practice and experience in doing it and eventually it'll just come naturally to you. You'll develop the habit of just being a flirt. And not only will it attract and keep your girl attracted to you, but it'll be attractive to other women as well. And when your girl sees that other women find you attractive, she's gonna naturally more or less be on her best behavior and continue to work to keep you attracted to her. 
But above all, remember, this is all about having fun. Not just having fun with her, but having fun yourself. When you're having fun, meeting and attracting girls will be almost organic because you'll have the right mindset and women are just gonna naturally want to be around a man who knows how to have fun. So it's not a bad deal. So if you found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. I would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have numerous offers or links to attraction-related programs that may interest you very much. But I also have a link to PayPal or my Bitcoin wallet address if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.